as you already know, I'm kindly on the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to be talking about something that new data scientists used to find difficult, new data analysts used to find it difficult to import data uh, into Jupyter Notebook and work with this data set. The reason is because you can't control the data set you are going to be provided with. So you can be given any kind of data set. So how do you import different data sets into Jupyter Notebook to be able to view this data set and use, to use them to work? So I'm going to start a new notebook at this time and let's go ahead to see how we can do it. So I actually have gathered a collection of different data sets, uh, uh, data sets in different formats, the CSV, the TXT, dot x lsx and dot data and uh, another one so i'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel the reason is i'm i'm doing these programs for free i'm not getting paid so if you subscribe it kind of motivates me to keep making it making these lessons for you and also if you have challenges just leave it in the comment box below whatever challenge you have in programming in data science machine learning uh, leave it for me and they write it there for me and I'm going to respond to you. So please subscribe to my channel. Feel free to also uh, like this video if it's been informative for you. Let's now get started. Um, so the first one we are going to be talking about is .c, uh, .txt file. So in my system, I have a file called brainsize2.txt. So brainsize2.txt. So let's try to import it. Uh, normally, to work with data, you need to first import the pandas import pandas module so import pandas as pd all right so at this point we now need to import a txt file so we call it the name of the file is brain size 2.txt maybe the first thing i normally like to do when you receive a data set try to open it maybe excel or notepad just to see how this data set looks like so you can see the data set here it doesn't make any much sense, but let's go ahead to try to import it. So what you are going to do, you can say uh, txt file. You can use any variable name you want. It's just a variable name. Is equal to pd dot read read underscore uh, read underscore. Yes, this is where the, the challenge comes. You, you have to say read underscore table at this time. So read underscore table and then specify the direction, the location of this data. So it's in my drive D, data folder and brain underscore size, size 2.txt. And at this point, I'm going to run it. And yeah. So if I check the content of this file at this point, I've imported. Let's see. You can see that it tends not to make much sense. The reason is because it's a TST file. So pandas try to recognize the header column that is okay, but it doesn't make much sense out of this data. So what you are going to do is to check that the separation between the values is a semicolon, as you can see. So you simply at the point of importing, just specify that the separation is semicolon by saying sep sep is equal to semicolon and you can now reimport it again at this point it makes much sense than what it made than what it is before another option is to change the extension of this file the .txt file change the extension to .csv uh, literally just come to the file name click on it and just change the extension to .csv and say yes, and then import it as a .csv file. Let's now try to import a .csv file. In my system, I have a file called atme.csv. I'm going to try to open it in Microsoft Excel. Let's see the content of this file. It's a good thing to do that if you have a data site, try to preview it in any application that is possible for you to use. So this is .csv, acme.csv. So I'm going to try to open this file at this point. So, so I'm going to say csv file equal to pd. In this case, you are going to say .3csv 
and you are going to specify the location of the data at me plus CSV. And at this point, I'm just going to run it and I'm going to try to check whether it's imported correctly. So checking it, you can see that it imported perfectly okay. But it may not, we may not be fortunate with all, every other format. For instance, let's try call the CSV. Let's see. I don't know, but uh, let's just try to see if it works. So, yeah, so let me try call the CSV. Call the CSV and let's check. So it also imported. So for CSV, it tends to be very easy to work with. Now let's turn our attention to something else. This one is dot data file. You receive a file in dot data format. Try to open it and check if possible. But if not, try to use read dot table in this case. In this case, we have bre it would have breast cancer Wisconsin the data. You can see this file right here. So let's try to import it. If you have a dot data file, try to use read underscore table. So read underscore table, and at this point, I'm going to remove the separation because for now we don't know what it is. So I'm going to call it data file. Of course, the name is optional. The name is, uh, you can always change the name to something you want. All right, so now we have the, the, the closing quotes is not there. So I'm going to run and it reads, but let's now check if everything is okay. Brain size 2.txt. Okay, so I think the name of the file is. So the name of the file is breast cancer underscore with. Wisconsin, Wisconsin dot data. All right. So actually, it is not underscore, but it's a minus sign. A minus sign. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to run it, and let's check whether everything goes well. So let's try to check data file. So you can see that it doesn't also make sense. Uh, now you can see that everything is jumbled up together. Uh, and now if I kind of enlarge it, you can see that the data values, the individual data values are separated by comma. And that means that you specify the separation here to be a comma. Just say SEP equal to comma and close in single quotes. And at this point, if I run it, and you see it displays correctly. All right, so let's now go to Excel file. Now I have a couple of Excel files uh, right here. We have uh, linear regression .xlsx. So let's try to do the same thing. If I say Excel file or Excel data is equal to pd .read. Now what do we do? Do we use read data or do we use read CSV? Let's try read. Uh, read underscore table, and we specify D, we specify, um, so the name of the file is it's in the data directory and linear regression dot xlsx, okay? So if I run it at this point, it doesn't really work because Excel files are read differently. So to solve this problem, you need to import two models that are under the Pandas module. These models are Excel file and Excel writer. So let me just insert a new cell above, above this line. And you are going to import from Pandas, import Excel writer, and from pandas import excel file so if you import this two i'm going to run perfectly okay and if i run the okay so let's see can decode okay so basically we are going to say read 
underscore Excel. So we don't use read underscore table, so we use read underscore Excel. Yeah, so this is what you do. And at this point, if I run it, it runs perfectly. And if I view the data at this point, we'll see that it displays correctly as well, right? So basically, this is how to work with different file formats in Excel. Hopefully, it's clear to you. If you have any other problem, let me know. In case of .xls, also read underscore Excel will also solve the same problem. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. Hit on the subscribe button below and let me know you are there. Just talk to me. I leave in a comment. Um, if you have any recommendations or if you have any, if you have any challenges, please let me know. I remain kind on the genius and we'll see you in the next lesson.